I don't think there's anything I said you couldn't bring on this trip, so you brought it. We got a battery pack for the charger. We got chairs. We have multiple oh, oh, tents. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Battery pack is very heavy, and I did not bring that. And that's the only thing you didn't want to bring. Chairs. We got we got everything. Luxury, but you got to pay for it, which means you got to carry it. We are on our portage number one. We just paddled across a giant lake. Of course, didn't film any of that because uh, the winds. Well, wasn't the winds aren't too bad, but uh, we got lost a little bit. So we gotta we gotta jump over two lakes. We got one more lake to paddle across, and one more portage after that, and that's where we're headed. It's gonna be a Crown Land camping spot. We got Holden here, and of course we got Courtney here. It's gonna be a family adventure. Let's see how many trips we're gonna do. The family adventure. You also have a family amounts of stuff. So we got this is like half of the stuff, probably. The other half still in the canoe. So we're gonna take one load right now and we'll come back and we'll grab the rest. Yeah. It's not a long portage, so that's the beauty of it. Holden's raring to go because he's got driving legs and sea legs. We drove probably, we drove four hours and change. Six? He thinks six, but it's not, it's four. Four hours of driving No, oh, it's four, four hours. Four hours, and then we've been in the canoe for about two already. We'll probably do one. He's arguing already. He just needs to walk and get some energy out. He's gonna do all the portaging here. He's gonna carry all the stuff. I'm gonna do all the paddling. He's still yammering on up there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go try to get some, some remote lake, lake trout. The lake we were just in has mostly bass. It has, uh, well, lots of cottages. So the idea is to get back this way and uh, skip over the Rainbow Lake and get to the natural lake trout lake. We're talking to a couple people on the landing and they said the lake trout's really good. So if with any luck, I'll be able to snag one or two for a shore lunch. But it's not really about that. This time it's more about relaxing and spending some time with the family, go swimming and, and just enjoying nature. Cause I haven't really done that very much to be honest. In the last little bit running the channel, it's been hard to get out with the family. Some half the battle is just trying to convince them to go out. And the other half is just to find the time and a spot where it works for everybody. So this is the rainbow lake we're coming in on. And this is one we're gonna skip over too. I have fished and camped at this one before, but I've never camped at the other one for too, too long. All right, go ahead. Go get load number two there, buddy. By the way, it's been two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> Who's the expert? Kayaking. We haven't been paddling for two hours. Yes. No. We, we left at 11.30 or 11.40. Get out of here. Go get some stuff, stretch your legs. Boat's loaded up. Here's a quick look at all the stuff we got. We got three backpacks, because everybody needs three backpacks all the time. We have a fishing net, that's important. You need a fishing net, two fishing rods. We have a giant tote, half filled with food, half filled with camera gear. We got uh, three sleeping bags, pack mats, uh, two paddles, and three chairs. Cause we, and the cooler. And a giant cooler that weighs 100 pounds that even Courtney can't carry. Oh, and, and my, um Seat. And a seat. We got a milk crate here. This is the extra seat we packed and then below that's just fishing gear Oh, and then we got a battery pack here, which I don't usually bring But because it's gonna be a longer trip. I wasn't sure if my batteries were gonna last a new camera new batteries Okay, so we're gonna paddle across here And we're gonna do another portage similar to this one and then we're gonna be at the lake We want to be we've been paddling for two hours. No, it didn't take us two hours It's well right now. Just keep it short Hour and 20, hour and 20. It's not bad. This one will take probably 20 minutes because we won't get lost. So it looks like we're not gonna have a headwind on this side, which makes Holden very happy. Although he's not happy because on the landing, he got his footy wet. He got a little foot wet. So now he's, he's soaking a little bit about his foot. <laughs> I, told him, I told him he's lucky it's not raining out because then it wouldn't just be his foot that's wet, it'd be the whole darn thing. But hey, that's what happens when you don't listen to dad who says, watch those rocks are both slippery and potentially wobbly. Beautiful out here. What do you think, Holdy? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna be sulking still. 
Watch your foot. How many boats are there? Lots of boats. Wow. Those are all lazy boat people. They don't want to come out here and paddle this lake to try to catch a fish. So, Baby which way are we going, do you think, Courtney? <laughs> yeah, I see it. You gotta go straight? No, it looks brown. Straight and then left or left? Oh, we're lost again. We'll yeah. figure it out. Take a break from doing any work and just watch Courtney paddle. And the next lake we're going to is a little bit bigger and we have to paddle most of it again. But it's not a bad paddle, I don't think. Wind's not too bad. I was worried it would be worse than it is. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Get through this one and we'll get to our lake and get to our site and chill out, relax. This is, we're gonna go to the beach. There's a beach uh, campsite. Talked to the guy in the landing, said it's really nice, so. Hopefully, that's the case. Tear that apart, smell it. The, it. the leaves? Yeah. Smell it. Is it mint? Wintergreen. Yeah. Smells like gum, right? Yeah, it smells good. Oh. That might have been a mistake. Backpack plus the 100 pound cooler of food. It's definitely not a wilderness living challenge. Oh, there's trip hazards everywhere too. It's big, big boulder rocks that just wanna twist your ankle. Oh, and I can't get this pack of food properly on my back. It's so gonna wanna slip off. Gotta make the family comfortable though. Okay, there we go. That last portage though. Let's so get the boat loaded up then. We're off to the races. It's nice that there's docks here. But it's not docks here because it's not rural. Or remote I should say. There's this lake here. It's like a chain of lakes. There's a lot of cottages on the first lake. And then there's one cottage on this lake. We just passed in one cottage on this lake because obviously it'd be hard for them to get their gear back. But people come back here, you see all the boats behind me here, they, uh, they'll they bring a motor in and they'll skip the motor over from boat to boat and leave the boat out the other lake. So you see how that works? <laughs> you go to the first lake, you drop your boat, you go to the second lake, you drop that boat, and you bring a motor each time and then you, you can fish. But most of the people that fish here would cottage on the other lake and then come in. We're kind of the all balls here. Lighter next time or luxury items? Tell me what a luxury item is. <laughs> I'm confused. Most of the stuff you brought besides your sleeping bag and tent are luxury items. Uh -huh. You have Gatorade packed in. Could just oh, use the frozen. water filter. It's frozen. You got um, lots of chips and those are light. Not they're heavy, but one. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. chairs. You got three chairs. True, but like I'm in my 40s now, and I have done my fair share of camping with no chairs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure pool noodles cuts it for a luxury item. But hey, you gotta show the kids a good time. Unless they won't want to come back. All right. Well, Owen's got his last couple loads, and we got the last paddle, and we got hopefully we can find this this good campsite. No comprende? I had more, but I left the seat back a bit. I was very unbalanced. That's everything except mom left the, <laughs> my chair. Hey. I'm just saying. It was unbalanced, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Alrighty, we're off fully loaded. Loaded to the gills. We've been uh, driving. Paddling and portaging since uh, 6.30 a.m. We were up obviously before that so we could leave on time. But here we are, final lake destination. I, uh, I'm not gonna film anything going across, we're just gonna go find the campsite because I am poop. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that was a little dicey. Is it a little dicey out there? Yeah! Yeah! Hey. There's a white caps out there. It's not good in a fully loaded canoe. Well, it's not too bad. So we're paddling with eh, amateurs. So I uh, had to do quite a bit of coaching there. It's a good thing the camera's running. So get out. Get out. Oh, he's a, 
He's huh? he's so afraid to get his feet wet. Avengers. Get your feet oh, wet. Catch him. Get your feet wet. <laughs> I'm gonna push him in the water. Get his feet wet. Stop! 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 Ah, don't do it. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out. Oh, without getting hurt, because getting hurt would not be good. Okay, one, two, three, go up. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's have a look at the web website. <laughs> Campsite, no website, no websites out here. Yeah, there's white caps, not good, not good for the canoe. I'm not windbound, windbound is when you get going in your canoe and you actually don't have enough power to actually make it across because actually the person at the front paddling is Did the power. Such a good job, <laughs> a little dicey. <laughs> Check out this campsite though, oh. dude. Dude, there's a there's a picnic table. No, no, no. There's not one picnic table. There's three picnic tables. There's a fruit fruit prep area. Here. <sighs> nice big fire pit. A little bit of split logs. But nice and open. We're in the wind, so there's gonna be zero bugs. Like look at this. Nice and wide open. It's not all completely devoid of burning materials there's some sticks around and we should be able to scavenge some from the rest but check out this chop like that that's a dicey chop so there won't be there won't be any fishing happening in this lake until late evening that wind hopefully will die down and we can get maybe catch a fish what do you got Andy? junk food yeah, it's snacks. You know what the funny part is? Here's what? the funny part. There's already chairs here. There's so many chairs here. Well, you have never, uh, you've never taken me to a spot with chairs, so. I think uh, I might be able to convince them to come back to this lake because it's such a treasure. Oh man, that's awesome. Check it out. Sandy beach all the way around. Come check out the beach, dude. So Holden can literally go wade in here all the way around. Look at that. How cool is that? So we got uh, two tents. We got the three man and the one man. And uh, Holden's going to be the one man. We're going to put him in the tent by himself. He's not going to do that. You're going to go in your, your own tent? Wait, I have my own tent. Yeah, a one man tent. You're going to be the one man the solo? Uh, one man tent? No. You're going to no. sleep, sleep by yourself? No. No, you're not brave enough? You're not brave enough. There, now you can carry it. All of a sudden you can carry it because you're hungry. So, Because uh, there aren't rocks all over the place. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. the only one getting everything out of this canoe. Because you're hungry. I will point out. <laughs> you didn't eat breakfast. That's your own fault. What you doing? Putting the food away. Well, putting the food out. Oh. Organizing the food? Organizing it, sure. It's a buffet. Yep. So what, was, what were you thinking when you packed all these things? Well, I didn't pack them all. You didn't pack like a giant jar of marinara sauce? Yes, but here's the thing. And I looked for a smaller one and I couldn't find one. So you got the heaviest one you could find? No, I, this is as small as I could get. And like, then... Like Costco sized oh, chips? Oh, yeah, apple chips. We'll go through those in three days. Everyone just went, three days? All this food? What? Two Jiffy Pops. That's for the boy. Ten bags of chips. Everyone gets their own. <laughs> Funny part is, you guys thought that was all the food. We haven't even gone through the 100 pounder. <laughs> what do you got in there? Mostly ice. Oh, Mostly ice. We have what? <laughs> I carried those grapes in. Grapes and blueberries. Freaking platter of grapes and blueberries. Our tuna salad for lunch. Yeah, well, that kind of makes. No, kind of makes sense, but not really. Chris made me put jam in a bag. Look, well, she was gonna bring a glass jar of jam. Like, you could just put it in a bag. That's a lot lighter. I mean, if you really need jam, you can't do without it. You you mostly have... Condiment bombs. This is the only thing I have in here. I, I think worms. And then the rest is like frozen Gatorades. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, all the meat. Nice. And the meat. Well, we have uh, two packs of hot dogs and, and eight hamburgers. Bacon. <laughs> and bacon. Bacon doesn't really need to be refrigerated. Yeah, and then we have uh, uh, something. 
Chris brought that. I'd say it's superfluous to our needs. <laughs> this is like the perfect thing you bring. It's like it's a bunch of meat, but it's dried. This is like equivalent of a hot dog. A pack of, two packs of hot dogs in there, protein. What is that? It's like it's a piece of meat. It's dehydrated. Oh. It's uh pork. Something, something. I don't know. I picked it last time because it was light. Anyway, I'm smart. These kids are kids. Hey. They have to learn the hard way. Like, who brings a can of potatoes in a can? I asked you. I know. I said yes. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to get a snack. I'm hungry. I need and a snack, too. Okay, wants to. He's already had a poop. They both had poops. I did not. They brought their I poops. Did. They no, brought didn't. their poops from home. I mean, that might be TMI, but they both brought their poops all the way home. I, I got up early and I left my poop at home, so I have to bring it all the way out here because it doesn't make sense to portage your poop. But hey, these kids, they're learning the hard way. They, well, they, ha there's they had to go house. through this. I used to camp like this. Yeah, there's an outhouse. I used to camp like this and bring all these foods. And then I just started living off the land. You guys know how well that turned out. You got something to say? No. Speak up, young man. Well, there's a path to the beach, which is amazing. You're amazed by that. Yeah. Amazed balls. And then this is all our stuff getting sorted out. We got pool noodles for the pool. Yeah, those were. Um, That's superfluous. Extra, but very light. Extra, but light, and also annoying. Every time, every time something was in my way, it was a pool noodle. That's a true Except story. Except for that, because you just kicked that. Yeah, but I need that. That's this is for sleeping on. It's a camp mat. It weighs. Yeah. It weighs and you nothing. Will be pro Ow. <laughs> <laughs> it weighs nothing. Well, Why didn't you catch that? Because I was, had something Oh, right look. In look, we brought our own chairs. We have to set our own chairs up because we brought them. So, there you go. Our own chairs overlooking private lake in the wilderness. This is literally in the wilderness. It's three lakes back. Two lakes back. Well, three lakes. It's the third lake. It's the third lake back. And because we're going to be here for so long, we're going to filter our water. It's a platypus. I've used, a, there's another competitor brand, Jeremy Hat, and I didn't like it. That's why I went to Platypus, it got good reviews. So basically, you got a dirty bag, and you fill that up with water, just scoop it up, and then it goes through a water filter here, and it's all gravity fed. There's pumps too, don't buy the pumps. Find the ones, it's worth the money. Find the ones that are gravity fed flow. And then at the bottom here, there's just a little clicky thing, and that'll compress the hose. So when you want the water to come out, you just release it. And that's it. So all we have to do is fill this up and you can get different size bag. That's a four liter bag. So fill that up. Just make sure you disconnect the filter and all that stuff. That doesn't go in the water. And then you just reconnect it. We'll do that later. And then grab some lunch. There's so much food here. What will I eat for lunch? Tuna fish? Gross. Hey. It was the best sandwich I've had in my life. Where's my sandwich? Close to the door. There's other potatoes. You scoop the tea. I'm gonna scoop it. That's it? That's my lunch? Yep, crave some blueberries. Alrighty there, tensile all set up. I'm not gonna do my sleeping bag just yet. I'm gonna try out my Outdoor Vitals. They uh, sent me this one. I always wear the Outdoor Vitals jacket. You know that hood? It's also Outdoor Vitals. So they wanted me to try out the tent. This is a, a 1P tent. So obviously only I fit in there. Because we tried the 3P Marmot one time and it wasn't a 3P. <laughs> not for three regular size P's. That was, <laughs> was not a very fun night. And so we're not gonna do that again. So the choice between the 1P plus 3P was to bring our, uh, I think it's an 8P. And it's very, very big and we weren't sure how far we were going to make it with all the stuff or I was, I was not even sure if we were going to make all our stuff here to begin with and we did i think we left a chair one chair back home that's like the most important part what are you talking about we got tons of chairs i'm joking that's right you're joking so i've got uh along with this i've got a mat to sleep on so again i'm not going to do that yet i'm just going to leave it here we'll let it air out and uh it'll be ready to go but uh, Holden did a scouting mission. He said the beach is freaking amazing. And let me remind you, we are way out in the wilderness. Way out in the middle of nowhere. So if there's any kind of beach here, that's a gimme. Oh, and he wasn't joking. See this thing? Come through the bushes here. We got a nice freaking sandy beach. 
all the way around the whole bay. And that wind's died down now. We were getting a little mist of rain there for a second, but uh, looks like it's gonna go away. It might, well, it looks like there's dark clouds over there, so probably we might get hit and miss. We might get lucky, we might get a shower, we might get a thunderstorm. But uh, after today, it's pretty much gonna settle right down. And this is what we're gonna get. Sun, partial. What's that for? Cool. The pool noodle, all the way from who knows where. Oh, I feel how cold this water is. Oh, it's not too bad, not too bad. Oh, oh. Rocks. yeah, there's rocks, there's some rocks. Oh, there's Courtney, can you see Courtney? That's the site. Can you see your way over there? I don't know if you guys can or not. Get a zoom, zoom in, I don't know. There, right there. You guys see, right, right there. She's way over at the campsite. So we're in the bay here. But uh, we can actually swim right outside the campsite. <laughs> here comes Aqu Aquaman. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's definitely not a groomed beach. There are a lot of rocks. But if you had a pair of water shoes, which I think Courtney has, and Holden has too. I don't, I, I'm the only one who doesn't have water shoes on. Oh, ouch. That water's a good, good temperature though. I like it. What's that? Hey, what's this? I don't know. You don't know? That's not a special one? I don't think so. It's not a quartz? No, that's not quartz. Quartz is shinier. I found a bivalve. We can eat these. <laughs> There's a pretty interesting video my, my wife and I did when we did the survival challenge and we ate these things. She thought they were very chewy. <laughs> maybe we'll, maybe if we don't catch a fish, we'll cook some up. We found uh, found some resources here. We got some birch bark up in here, and there's lots of driftwood. So what I'm doing is I'm just pulling well while they're swimming anyway. Pull some of this wood out from the dry shore here. It's got to be up above the water line. But this stuff here is all good dry wood. And some of the stuff down here is really wet. Like this stuff, super wet. It's uh, it's actually touching the ground pretty good. Anything that's, you know, ground touching the ground is going to be too wet for firewood. And then some of the stuff here, oh, that's a good piece I grabbed before. Just store it up on the beach and it can dry out. While we're here, we'll need quite a bit of wood. And a couple pieces here I grabbed here, nice dry stuff. But I found a bunch more up this way here. It's a big piece. We're not going to be burning a lot of wood. It's more wood just, you know, for cooking. So here's a nice, nice big pile, nice big chunk of wood here. You can see that? and a couple other pieces here so i'll just leave those to dry and then next time you come we'll bring a piece up every time or we can just paddle the canoe around when the winds aren't so bad keep myself busy while they're busy here's another good piece here so cool to see get the wash up stuff but like that's a nice flat board that if you actually lost your paddle you could probably use it for a paddle or it's good for cleaning fish on top of too just put it out here in the sun and let it bake while we're here. The sun's just about to come out again. And I found a, it's a ATV trail over here. So this place has got everything. Courtney was wondering if she can go for a walk in the morning. Like where would she go? I mean, she could just walk around the beach, but there's an ATV trail down here. I don't know where this goes. I, I kind of remember it being here from on Google Maps. But some of these trails don't always show up very good. They probably end up at a roadway some way, some ways. And they just keep going all the way back. I just uh, spotted something else here. Right over here is a whole mess of birch bark. This is from a fallen tree. So it's free for the taking. Can't hurt this tree anymore, it's already dead we can uh, bring some back to camp and have some ready for fire on hand all the time and we're just going to be starting a fire up cooking our food and then letting it go out 
these uh, big panel, these big sheets, the woody ones, you'd think are not very good, but they're good for camp life because what you can do is actually shred them while you're kind of waiting for them to dry. Get this one out with one hand. But typically you wouldn't use that. He would use the thinner pieces for fire starting. But uh, if you have the time, you can let these dry out. And that's what I'll do. I'll just break them all apart at camp. I just let them sit. Hello. What's happening? How much? It's getting warm in the sun. It's lovely. Come here and show me where show me where you hurt. No, stop. <laughs> show me where you're cold. No! Stop it! Stop. You're gonna make me cold. What the hell? I missed. No. This, this is when you're bad. Cold? You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> Stop. I like that. I'm taking it home. <laughs> Stop. 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 <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Drink of it? Um, Test it. No. Is it good? Yep. It actually, it's weird because it actually tastes like the city water. Does it? Yeah, because it there shouldn't be any chemicals. We got the water bottle, okay. but it tastes like exactly like it. No chemicals in there at all. Not going in. Yeah, it's going in. It is? Yeah. As long as your container is below um, this container, it'll fill. So when it's full, I'm going to show you how to do this so you can get water whenever you want. When it's full, you press that tight and then water can't come out anymore. And when you want water, what you do is you open that up. Okay? So you watch that till it's full. Okay. It's going to fill up quite a bit. Like, that's not even close to Here, finish. you can fill that one up. After? Your, yeah, that'll be for your dinner. Mom, can you bring the other water bottle over? Like the plastic one. Huh? 
I don't know. And then just bring it up. Dad, how do you do it? Oh, I got it. Okay. Well, we're gonna get some spaghetti on. Well, noodles. Ooh, that wipe, wipe out. We got a lot of wind here, so I put a board. It's just shooting back this way. But I threw uh, two hamburgers in the sauce bottom there, so we're gonna kind of boil the meat instead of having hamburgers. We usually have hamburgers on the first day, but we'll do two meals of it. So, gonna have a meat sauce anyway. And uh, just boiling some water. Hopefully, that doesn't wipe out. I haven't quite got this rigged up for cooking over the fire yet. It's pretty wonky, but I think it'll be fine. As long as nothing tips over, it'll be good. So boil some water, drop the noodles in there. Looks like the sauce is already kind of cooking. So we'll keep that a stir. It should be good. I'm not gonna wait for coals, but we might, uh, we can always rake them over. Let's get my glove off here. But how I have it set up is that the fire burns on the, the far side here and then we can just bring the coals over here. It's a super hot fire, it's super windy, so it's gonna burn fast. So you have to have everything ready to go before you even start cooking. It'll work. Gourmet meal here. Like the best thing you can have on a... What, what night is it? Uh, Wednesday. A Wednesday night didn't bring a plate because I wanted to save on weight. So that's what I'm going to do. The bonus is that there's one less plate to wash. And you got to wash this one anyway. Thanks for thinking of me. It's the smart one now. Little stuck there, chum? I can't believe you guys are cold. It's a beautiful temperature out here. No, it isn't. How about the view? There's nobody else around either. A little fishing. Right now? <laughs> yep. Okay. Drop it, drop it, let's go. <laughs> But we've been pretty lucky because we actually dodged more than one thunderstorm. You hear that one over there? That's a big one and it's raining. You can see Look at that way over there in that crack there. That's all rain. You can feel the cold air coming from it. But it's moving, thankfully, moving that way. And then earlier today, I don't know if you heard when we were swimming, but there was one over on the other side. So we actually raid in between two of them. Pretty not so. I'm glad I'm not in that one because we'd be soaked. That would not be fun. So the worst part about camping is when it rains because you can't really do anything, especially when it rains that bad. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's like a, it's like fireworks. Except that they're right in front of you. <laughs> they, these kids are all worried. <laughs> Why do you keep calling us kids? <laughs> well, I'm a kid. It's uh, we're gonna completely miss it, but they're they're worried. <gasps> Go a little bit closer because I want to get the next crack. It's been super super loud. Is there one over there? I don't know. Is it an echo? Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> so I heard that and then there was like a lighter one there because yeah, this is really echoey. It's an echo lake. You can see rays. Well, it's actually, it's rain. I don't know if you guys can see those lines coming down there. But I once, this is exact, the lake I was actually over at the lake we started at. 
and I could see the line of rain coming toward me. It was the craziest thing. We were just getting off the lake. So we got back just in time. You could see that sheet of, of water just coming at us. You can see right there, it, it's pissing down rain so much right there. That line, that's the line where it's raining. It's crazy. I want to see another shot of lightning. I want to hear it. We'd be so drenched over there right now, bud. I know. <laughs> and look, we're gonna get a beautiful blue sky when this is done, right? Right there is blue sky. I don't know where this is the sun. Do you think it's below the trees yet? It's I close. think it's like right there. Like it's right, it's right at the top? Cloud. Yeah. Do you think it's over the tree or below? A, a little bit over, cause like those are white. Oh, no, the wind's dying down too now, I think maybe we might be able to go fishing. Echo, that sounds like a plane. Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. That was like tiny and then it got bigger and bigger. Oh, the echo is so weird. Yeesh, it's ugly. We might, we might get, we might get a little bit of rain here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, it's coming this way. Isn't it? Yeah, like I told you before, it's coming. It's really heavy. Okay. I don't know if I can show it. Yeah, I can show it. But I have a pretty wide uh, summer sleeping bag here. Two pillows and I've got the air mattress down below. It fits, it fits a pillowcase. I mean, not a pillowcase, it fits a sleeping bag just a seam bag that's it and then on the uh, far side here there's no vestibule i think i set it up right and there's a vestibule on this side here room enough for like a pack i don't know if i can tell you show you on the outside here but um maybe i turn the camera this way here so i've opened up the vestibule but they have two anchor points here and then there'd be another one that would come out here but i've tied it back there's no mosquitoes in right now so be room enough for put one two packs probably um but it is designed to be a 1p ultra light and it is very light it's probably two two pounds give or take i don't i wouldn't even notice i had it and uh, if i was doing an ultra light trip again i would definitely go with this i don't think we're gonna get rained on so let's go fishing no <laughs> Come on. No, actually no. There's a lake full of lake trout out there. Yeah, and the wind died down. I can't do it by myself. I need a whole team. Whatever we can go hold them. Mm -hmm. Go for a half an hour and see what happens. Half. You don't want to go to bed right now? Um, eight. Ten. Bedtime for holding. Bedtime. <laughs> yeah, eight o'clock. Well, wind down time. Wind down time. It's the first time he's ever followed that rule. <laughs> what time does it get dark at? Nine? Nine, nine th yeah, I guess. Like, nine? We want to be back by nine, so we should get going, eh? Aww. Is it, is it actually past? That's <sighs> what happens when you get together with a bunch of people who are not s fishermen, fisher fishermen, you know? Like, they'll go fishing, but it's got to be just right. It is, it's, it is a little dark to be going out right now. If, if the sun wasn't behind those clouds, it seems to be stuck behind the clouds now. <sighs> yeah, I think today's a write-off and it is windy. It doesn't make sense to go out there right now. I wish I could just fish off the shore, but it doesn't work for lake trout. Gotta get them a hundred foot of water. Well, we're in the marmot. One big happy family in the marmot because it's raining now. Mm -hmm. So, good thing we're not in the boat. <laughs> that was two minutes ago. <laughs> Let's go fishing. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> good thing we have lots of candy. You haven't shown them all the candy we brought. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> too much candy. Candy. What are you eating? Candy. Rot your teeth. 
Sandy. Rot your teeth. Rot your teeth. You gonna share any of this? Um, yeah. Dude, how much candy do you... This is like five pounds of candy. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I should have that's taken not some mine, of that. that's mine. <laughs> well, some of it's like. The heck, dude. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Well. That's it. Beautiful sunset. We uh, kind of got spoiled. Well, the fish got spoiled. The fishing got spoiled because of a thunderstorm. Whoa! Dude, that did you, bird did you just see? flew right there. It, I, I felt it under my arm. There's a little bird that just went it was right here up in a tree. Right beside my hand. <laughs> that was weird. Maybe that's where it hangs out overnight. <laughs> that was kind of cool. The moon's just peeking out. It should be a clear day tomorrow, I would think. The question is if I can get these kids out of bed for fishing in the morning, but I don't think that's going to happen tomorrow. Maybe we'll get a calm day. if we. I think if we get the first couple hours of the day, then uh, the winds won't be too, too bad for fishing. We don't have to paddle far. We'll just go right out here. So, we'll see. I think... Uh, we're gonna have an early bed because we had an early morning. I got hiccups from trying to call the loon. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do a good job calling the loon. Mm, nope. Tired the loon out. She's not happy anymore. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's pack her in. Uh, good morning. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a look at the tent before I get out. It's uh, ugh. it's it's about the size. Well, you can't really sit all the way up because your head hits the top, and it's about shoulder width. Just a little bit. Well, I say like almost elbow. Like almost put your elbows out, but it was pretty comfy. I didn't really feel too hot in it. Um. It's like the perfect size, really. I think maybe if you're a little bit taller, you might struggle a little bit more. But I didn't, I was fine. Um, I did hear some animal activity last night, but I didn't really bother to go out and investigate because nothing really sounded too suspicious. Yeah, we're fine, the food I put the food on top of a uh, log there and there's uh, a pan on top so that if an animal came in here and knocked it over, I guess they could rescue it. And I say there's no bears out here that I know of. Could always be a bear. But if a bear comes in and knocks it over, at least I know there's a bear. <laughs> it's better than not knowing there's a bear. But I'd heard um, some raccoons Actually, one came pretty close to the tent and then scampered off twice. So probably it was two different raccoons. Um, and I could hear them talking to each other. It looks like a nice, super clear morning. Zero um, clouds in the sky. We actually might be able to go fishing if we get our butts in gear. It's like 9 o'clock though. So the wind's probably only going to pick up more and more as the day goes on. But... Um, I think by the time we got here, about 11 yesterday, the winds weren't too, too bad. It's not too bad right now, I don't think. Once you get white caps, it's done. Let's see if we can get the kids going. I was ready to go in the morning, but I can't do that boat by myself, so. Oh no. What's happening? I'm getting stuff organized. Why is your face broken? Yep. How'd you sleep? Huh? How'd you sleep? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Complain, complain you don't have a mat, old man? Yeah, well, I can't. I lied on this the whole time. I didn't. I didn't want to. You though. should have lied on that, and then turned over and lied on that, and then turned over and lied on that. Then they would. They would have both hurt. <laughs> they spread the pain around. Oh my god! I never had a mat. We never. We didn't have mats. They weren't even invented when I was a kid. That's why I'm so tough. 
Now I need a mat, I'm old. <laughs> well, Holden's having a buffet. Did you pick something up for breakfast? Yeah. What you gonna eat? Um, peanut butter sandwich. A peanut butter sandwich? Sandwich. Yeah, you're not gonna get a sandwich? <laughs> no? A Sammy? You gonna toast it? No. Make a fire? Might be grab a snack, but uh, wanna get out in the water, at least try to fish, even though everybody slept in. We're gonna see if we can't maybe catch myself a lunch. That'd be tricky. It's not too windy yet, but within a couple hours, it'll definitely be too windy. I'm gonna check our other food cache stash over here. See if anything messing. I took this uh, boat last night and just threw it over the. There's a riser log there, and uh, just because of the rain, to get our stuff out of the rain. So so far. I don't think anything messed with it. I uh, threw all my plastics for fishing up here because I know no animal can reach up in there. They can't really scale the metal bits, but you think, why would an animal bother with your plastics for fishing? Well, because they're impregnated with odor. The mystery tackle box and catch coat. They're, uh, Well, they're sponsoring this video and they smell, they put some odor for the fish attractant in there. So a mouse would definitely chew through a plastic container just to try to get to it thinking it's food. You know, fish think it's food. Uh, in case you haven't guessed it, this video is gonna be sponsored by Mr. Tackle Box. Use the code Beardsman down below and you're gonna get your first box for as little as $10. Um, I didn't bring a specific box this time. I mostly teased out some Catch Co. Um, scents. Well, not scents, but uh, attractors. So these will go on the jigs. We're going to use big fat 3 8 ounce jigs. Can you scooch. Holden, can you scooch over to the right a little bit? Do you guys see the island? The island is right in front of us. It was way windier this morning. This is your chance, Holy, to catch yourself a fish. This side. Put your feet too. That'll give you more stability. All the way apart. That's it. There. That'll give you stability. You feel it a little bit more? Yeah. So if the boat goes one way, you just put pressure on one foot. if it's necessary so okay mom's got it so turn the handle around the other way so that it's ready is that all over to the bottom no i think it's like on the floor well, how do you know how would you know if it's almost at the bottom i'll tell you if we hit the bottom yeah you hit the bottom i think flashing yep that's on okay we're on guys we're on we're on the fish Oldie, you ready? Corny, extend the net out. Undo it. Okay. Dude, we're on. Dude, we got lunch. Okay. Okay, we gotta get in the boat though, so no panicking. Oh, no, no. Okay, Holy, open up your legs a little bit. Okay, you set? Okay, this is the hardest part. No pressure. Okay, Courtney, you I'll tell you when to scoop, but you're not gonna scoop aggressively. I'm gonna try to lead her in there. Okay, if the neck, if the, if its chin comes out of the water, you can go to scoop. Okay, under, under, get under and lift up. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift. Yes! yes! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't buddy move. Okay, Col Courtney, yeah. put it on the bottom of the boat. Just put it on the bottom no, of the boat. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't believe it caught a fish, man. Maybe. Boys, I need to be able to handle the fish somehow. Whew. Holy. That was worth the whole trip right there. <laughs> Dad's happy now. I got a big adrenaline rush off that. I'm not going to lie. All right. We're just going to try to find a place to land the boat here. 
All right, I'm gonna go forward, I'm gonna go around this rock. Now we're gonna back in a little bit. Back up. Okay, hold the lifting that up, bud. So, cause I can't lift it from there. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm twisting, don't buddy move. Hold on, hold on, you're good. So we just came up to shore here to uh, take it out of the net on an island. There's actually an island spot up here. All right, let's have a look at this fish. Whew. Oh, there's another campsite here, which is kind of cool. Are you dead, Hanson? Look at that beauty. Aw, can I take your picture? <laughs> Cheers. Check out that beauty lake trout. It's got a scar on the side of it. Something's been after it. Dude, what do you think? You proud of your daddy? Yeah. <laughs> no? It's like, yeah. whatever. Whatever, dude. Well, you called you daddy. Call <laughs> called you me daddy. a daddy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I went, did a wager with Holden that uh, we do three. One rainbow, one lake trout, and a bass, because that's when the, it's in the air. And first person to catch all the three wins. So I'm stalling right now because if I get him back in the boat, he might catch his lake trout. I'm just kidding. I actually want him to catch one. But uh, friendly competition doesn't hurt anybody, especially between father and son. Alrighty, we got our fish. Yeah, we got our fish. Okay, make sure. Oh, see if uh, switch sides again, Courtney. Go to the back to where we were before. Hey, uh, yeah. So Holden's got the uh, the lucky jig on right now. I caught a lot of fish on that orange jig from uh in woodland caribou and for mental note that was on the uh bio spawn from mr tackle box so that worked man that was that was literally probably that was one, wasn't even one drift one one even one drift and caught a fish so that's a pretty good success rate on that i'm not surprised I'm not surprised totally surprised but i never use scented stuff for the any of that really crazy business but hey it works no bites first drift though but we're going past our island spot hole and Wind's picking up. I think the wind would probably pick up right till, well, went till like eight, nine o'clock. Well, we had the thunderstorm, so I'm hoping because it's not super windy today, it'll uh, dissipate a little Is earlier. Is that camera still on? Yeah, and I'm talking to it. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get out for the evening bite. That's what I'm getting at. It's not so it's not so windy here that you can't catch a fish. It's just harder. <laughs> I'm hungry. You're always hungry. For lunch. It's eleven. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Daddy was talking to like us. Dad narrates his never life. Does. <laughs> as soon as I turn the camera off, I keep narrating. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. It's like, <laughs> no, it was. What I'm doing? Mm. What I'm doing right now? It's jigging. <laughs> you don't narrate in your own head quietly. Oh my god! Do you have an inner voice in your head, Holden? Oh. Or do you say everything out loud? <laughs> oh, dude, we're we're getting slow here. We can maybe catch a fish again. <laughs> getting on the end of our drift here. Did a full drift, a whole lake. No bites, no nothing. So. So we get a little too close to shore here, we'll reel up and head back for lunch. I'm gonna smoke a fish and Holden's gonna go swimming. I'm gonna cook it on the beach. Huh? I'll make a fire on the beach and cook it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And then mom can uh, bring her chair over and read a book and we're gonna have some fresh caught smoked fish. Smoke it for a couple hours, probably late lunch. It's beautiful out here, not too windy to fish, but not ideal. It's gotta be like, not flat water, but like, closer to flat. I'm not saying you can't catch a fish, you work hard enough you can. Make a fire anywhere here really, but just up in the shore, tucked in, nice light fire. We got a light breeze coming toward us. A little bit of shade for a few hours. That's it, I wanna have a nice smoked fish. I earned it. A lot of work to get it, but hey, super pumped, man. That's awesome. Fish out in the wilderness. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna smoke it now. I'll figure out a way.
You got bacon smoked over alder. You got a set of bagels, fresh trout. If you like it, you'll eat more. I won't like it, trust me. You <laughs> don't want to touch it. What am I doing? I don't want to touch it. What, you little bird? Here, birdie. No slow. Mmm. Taste it. It's better than the other fish, I have to say. It's pretty good. Pretty good? Like, good? Like, really good? Like, I don't want to eat more, but it's good. Like, But if you thought about it, you'd be like, you know what? I should just do it because I just convinced myself I didn't like fish, and it's actually good. Oh, man. That's so good. I think it's a, it's a texture thing, and also you watch me clean them too many times. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. You think it grossed out because of like cleaning them? Yeah, because it's also staring at me. <laughs> Jiffy Pop? Yep. Did you make it yourself? Nope. Next time? Yep. <laughs> All tucked up inside the last little bit of shade before we get out of this cedar tree. I already burnt. I had to put my shoes back on and my socks back on because it burnt the bottom top of my foot just because it never gets any sun, of course. This is a rarity for sure for camping. No bugs, well, except for the big biters, but sitting here right beside, tucked in the woods, and there's no mosquitoes coming out to get us. It's crazy. Gonna break. Could go out and fish right now though too. It's not like, not even, it's like as flat as you get. Uh, we decided to clean up camp, well beach camp anyway, and uh, get a little bit of shade up by the, the tent. It's all shaded up there. The only problem is this fish isn't quite finished yet. I think there's enough heat that this will reignite. I don't want to burn it. So what I'll probably do is I'll just leave it for I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or something like that. I come back and check to see if it's relit. It won't spoil like that and there's no flies on there. So I'm not worried about that. I wanna get all the gear, fishing supplies and everything off the beach so it doesn't get too roasted. I'll leave the canoe here. It's as good a spot in any, as any. Really? You doing some ladies work? No, I'm doing some around the camp work that needs to be done by someone. It just happens to be me. What are you reading? A book. Show me the front. It's called? Um, the Sun Neptune. Is it good? Yeah. What about? Roman mythology. Roman popcornology? Mythology. Oh. Well, Pretty cool camp. There's the, the dishwashers down there. The popcorn eaters right here. All our extra food. And then that's where we have a little shelter for all extra gear because we got the two small tents. And then we got our water, water filling station over here. Gotta grab some more water at some point. And then just have a couple of big heavy cans. So we're gonna have to catch another fish for dinner or leftovers to eat that stuff but yeah looks like Courtney actually got some kindling ready for a fire looks like over here and a lot of this garbage was existing garbage so we just collected it put it in the fire that's the best way to do it and then that's where we ate our dinner last night up there that's the best spot there for eating there's enough room for tons of people the dishwasher also delivers dishes and holds her temper <laughs> you have a temper dishwasher? <laughs> <laughs> well, not a huge one, but... Sounds, no. sounds like you need some servicing. What? <laughs> to service the dishwasher. Yeah, uh-huh. So it's not as temperamental. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, just be nice to the dishwasher and the dishwasher will do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Socks like that. <laughs> you don't like my socks? <laughs> I didn't like that. 
Yeah, give me another go. Perfect. Put some mayo in there. Mayo? Make a sandwich. Dude, it was so good last time I had a sandwich like that. With mayo though? I didn't have mayo. Well, who would? Do you like bacon, tomato, tartar sauce? <laughs> and fresh caught leg trout smoked over fire. Another luxury. Alrighty, we're uh, well. I'm bored. These kids still want to read. But. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Reading's boring. I don't even do it at home, so I'm not gonna do it out here for certain. <laughs> we're gonna load the boat up here and uh, try to catch some dinner. It's about five five p.m. So if we catch it's a fish, five thirty. That's what I said. It's about five p.m. This is what we're on outdoor time. It could be about anything. I know it's about dinner time, so let's catch some fish for dinner. Okay. Like if if you don't, then we're gonna you're gonna be skunked, and I'm gonna be hungry. I have to leftover fish. I want a fresh fish. So oh let's see what we can do. Uh, not if you get it yourself. It's not calling spoiled. It's called. What if I get it? If you get it, then you can eat the whole thing or share it. I'll share it. <laughs> I won't even eat any of it. <laughs> You'll eat a bite. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. What? A freaking day it is right now it is the, I, the lake is almost like glass we're digging straight down to the bottom mm -hmm. but uh, and there's a running man crowd. Yeah, it does look like a it does look like a running man it looks like a, it looks like it, no it looks like a, like a bear yeah, a little bit. it looks like um Winnie the Pooh running <laughs> look at it no. I gotta get that on camera. It's Winnie the Pooh. See, he's got he got two legs at the bottom. He's got his outreached arm, and he's got a he's got his curled up nose and eye and ear and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect conditions, but uh, Holden's the only one who's had a bite, and that was a long time ago. And he had a miss. Actually, I think I just had a bite there. Oh my! God. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't a very sure good one. Sure you did. I don't know. So if we don't catch any fish, we're eating hot dogs. That's, yeah. That's the. Dog hot. Holden thinks it's the reward, but that's really the booby prize. But I do hear some bullfrogs over in the bay. So on our way back, I'm gonna see if I can't paddlewhack one <laughs> and get some some wild food in us for dinner. And like, ah! Yeah, that bird's not happy we're here at all. Ah! They were just jigging in one spot, and I'm actually getting tired of jigging in one spot. And I. I know. I think it's kind of weird that we haven't caught a fish, but hey, that's the status. If I was out here with just me and, well, just me, <laughs> somebody else who liked to fish, we would probably catch a fish by now. I blame Holden. Well, you haven't caught a fish. Yeah, but I blame you for missing the only fish that's biting oh in the whole God. lake. <laughs> See, you thought you could wreck me and burn me and roast me, and here you are. I'm just left, right, and center, roasting back. I'm going to try to back paddle a little bit. Just to get that vertical jig going. Wind isn't too too bad, but it's not great either, so we can uh you are really Yeah, we're trying to stay in the same place. We stay in the same place so we can get vertical. That's what we want. So now we're vertical and then we can hit the bottom. Alright, so Holland's bored and he contemplating your life again. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do when you fish, you contemplate your life. So we're gonna go to the spot where we figured we had my fish. Holden, did you miss a fish today, baby? Did you miss a bite? Yeah. He missed a bite, he missed a bit. Missed your bite, so so uh, he's a little depressed about that. So we're gonna move him over here where we think the wind is like, this is perfect lake trout fishing weather. I, I wish I was in the boat with a bunch of lake trout fishermen, but I'm making do with what I have, just like Holden's making do with what he has. He wishes he was in a boat full of gamers who wanted to go game instead of fish. Or on like a 
comfy couch. A comfy couch. Well, you could or maybe like sit on the, chair. lay down on the floor, maybe. Okay, are we close here now? Yeah. Is this roughly where it was? All right, drop it down and catch a fish. Like, don't mess around about this thing. I'm not. If we catch a fish, we can go eat it. Oh, I should have done that instead of a time limit. I should have just said, "Well, we catch a fish, we can go." No, but you, you already said the time limit. All right, we'll catch a fish then. Don't be silly. I'm not. I'm trying to catch a fish. Like, focus. Become one with the lake. That's right. Think about fish and you're going to catch one. It's the problem is you're, you lack focus and attention to detail. It's not complicated. We're, we're catching fish. We're not not catching fish. Not, 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 not. It's like, okay, when you go play hockey, like... What you do is you go score. Like forget about all the other stuff that goes into hockey. Just go score. That's the game plan. So the game plan here is to just catch a fish. Like just don't think about anything else. It's the best advice I can give you with anything. Just think about the goal. Well, don't think really about all the advice. steps in between. You have really bad advice. <laughs> Listen, I'm doing my best. You're a really bad fisherman. I'm really bad at teaching fishing. <laughs> Even though you're a... But I'm a really good fisherman. Good fisherman. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm on the board and you're skunked. And and you want to take your line out of the water. So I'm saying it's not it's not a good sign when a fisherman wants to hang up his fishing rod. Because oh, you can't catch a fish after you take your line out of the water. And we're we're like right in the money spot. Like we're, this is where we caught my, this is where I, we, I keep saying we, as in if you guys helped, but you didn't. Like this is where I caught my fish. <laughs> you guys observed me catch my fish. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. Oh, I felt like that was a weird, still feels kind of weird. Doesn't feel right. I don't know. Like I got something, I got something on here. If it's not a fish, it's something weird. It's not pulling back though. There's no head shakes. Like I think I got something on here, but I don't know what it is. If that's a fish, I really like seaweed or something. dude. If that's a fish, <laughs> you caught, you caught, he caught, caught my line. Okay, reel up. <laughs> no wonder, no wonder mine was, mine wasn't like working. It wasn't jigging properly. Okay, reel up, no well, reel up. <laughs> what? Do you, if, what how much line did you let out? A lot. Okay, well, there you go. That was awesome. See, I'm more focused on you on, than you are because I noticed something was weird and you're just like, whatever. Well, I did. I, my line felt weird because I was paying attention to you. Reel up and check and make sure it's not all tangled up. Get your line down. I know. I'm Quick. just waiting. Time's running out, dude. I know. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, but you want to, you don't, you don't want time to run out. You want to catch a fish. I know. But we're right in the money spot. We're There's like so many bugs are attacking my line. We are legit right where I caught my fish, and and there's no wind, so we're staying there. It's not even a consolation prize. It's a booby prize. Hot dogs. We actually got even condiments packed up, but we're a little short on time. Thankfully, Courtney's got a little bit of kindling set up here. We don't have a ton of wood hanging around here right now, but there's enough around that we should be able to make some kind of a fire. We don't want to be looking off into the woods for wood. So I'll put Courtney and holding on wood duty. Let's grab some stuff hanging around here. It doesn't take too long to cook a hot dog, but we want to get everything ready before dark because we know the mosquitoes come out with a vengeance after it gets dark. There's lots of stuff hanging around here. Can't have fresh fish all the time. I did actually miss a fish. Um, on my last cast, and then we went five minutes longer than that. It's funny because I made Holden do the last, oh, just one more, just one more, just one more, you know, like kids do to us. You reading a book? Yeah. Come on, buddy. We don't, we don't have so much sunlight left. Listen, the bugs don't listen to one last minute, one more minute. They come out when they're ready to come.
What you doing, buddy? Filling up water. You doing it for everybody? Yeah. Cool. Well, everybody will have water to drink tonight? Yep. Very satisfying? Definitely. <laughs> yeah? That's funny. It's very satisfying. You do stuff that, oh geez, that's right in my freaking face. It's the whole thing. I think it goes with the ASMR. It's like, you just get the right sounds and the right action. It's very satisfying. That's the aim anyway. But for the kids, it's like when you touch, like touch like goopy stuff or it's like just the right texture or some right sound or whatever. It's, they call it satis very satisfying. No, that's all right. Dirt. Just brush it off and we're what? good to go. So I got him filling up the waters. Courtney's getting dinner set and we're going to throw the hot dogs. We're just going to take the hot dogs here. And this was left over. Somebody left it here. I think it's like a, it's a toaster, but I think it'll work. I think it'll work all right for a wiener, a wiener roaster. We can put like the whole pack of wieners inside, close it up and just fry it up. It should be good to go. I guess it's like a stick, sure. It's gonna get hot though. And you're gonna, you're gonna burn those. <laughs> you can put it right in the flame. Eh. Yeah. What do I know? Found quartz, even bigger quartz. And I think this is black quartz. And green quartz, which I didn't even know existed. Oh, those hot dogs are singing. Singing the song of getting skunked. Actually, wait, oh, 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 one second. I have leftover fish, I just remembered. I should have been warming it up this whole time. I'm not gonna eat not fish, I'm gonna eat fish. Just warm this up because it's already cooked and smoked for the most part. Throw that down on the fire there. We're gonna have, we're gonna have some leftover fish, look at that. Hot dogs for the losers, the non-fisher people. I cut the head too. I don't know, the head's not looking super good. We'll just throw it on the rock here and see what happens. Maybe it'll be good to eat, maybe it won't. What'd you find? Found more green quartz. More green quartz. Are you gonna like load up the canoe so it's really heavy on the way back home? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> this is a big deposit, but yeah? I can't, there it's all, it's not loose. A big deposit, he says. What are you, a miner? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> it's real Minecraft. Secret ketchup dispensers. If, if you don't go to fast food joints too often. And they don't watch our winter camping video. Or they haven't watched our winter camping video. It's saran wrap. It is. You taught me this. So yeah, just self-packaged little ketchup packets. Magical. That's the consolation prize if you didn't catch any fish. I'm gonna go grab. It's better than fish. It's better than fish, huh? Doesn't sound right at all. I'm gonna have leftover fish. So real winners do, even when they're losing. Wait, wait what are hot dogs made of? <laughs> what are hot dogs made of? Um, hot dogs. Cow? Yeah. Oh. The undesirable parts of the cow. Oh God. The leftover bits. Well, it's just the two of us now. Making some headway on my fish. <laughs> Making some headway on your hot dog. Mm -hmm. Is that your third? Mm, it's still my first. No, <laughs> it's not. It's like your fourth. Mm -mm. You ate three hot dogs? Mm -hmm. Can't believe there's actually like a picnic table up here on the ridge overlooking the lake like look at that view how sweet is that like you're not gonna get that too many places maybe not ever you gotta come up you gotta come all the way out here it's only four hours drive plus six hours paddle <laughs> six hours no. it, was. it was six hours 
Or wait, six hours paddling? Well, and portaging. Paddle portage. And packing oh. and repacking the oh. canoe. Ten hours, ten hours for us to get here of toil. Mm. We didn't roast it. You want to roast one? No. Really? They're so big. Too big? Yeah. What's with the bananas? Is that for the raccoons? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, if you leave it out here, we definitely have a raccoon camp. I love bananas. It's gonna get that big blue container and put it up on top with something that rattles. And raccoons, at least we'll know if they show up. Not gonna, well, then I can scare them away. That's all you can really do. We go, go to bed with the sun. Of course, and then they sleep in till nine, so <laughs> to get them up, try to get them up at the crack of dawn. Courtney said she was ready for me at seven, but then she didn't hear me, so she went back to sleep. And of course, I'm doing the same thing for them because I don't want to wake them up, whatever. I still caught a fish. Hey, caught a fish today. Well, good morning, everybody. I got the, half the crew out for a fish. One's going to sleep in. Which is okay. Courtney's up. Almost at him. She's gonna still gonna take a pee. Got a couple snacks. The sun is not quite up, but it's pretty close. But as close as you can get to not being up as up in the woods. It hasn't hit the trees yet. So we're in good shape. The best part about all this is the wind isn't up. That's the main thing. We'll see if we... We'll see if this lake is a morning bite lake. Cause as you know, I didn't have any success last night, but I did manage to catch a fish at about... Uh, it was about 10 o'clock. So it could be a, a morning bite lake kind of deal. Let's get over, get the canoe ready to go. And I'm sure Courtney will meet us over here. And then we can head out and enjoy the beauty of morning fish. This is pretty special. And one of the things you only get if you actually camp at a lake, because you'll never get here on time otherwise. Get down here, I wanna have a peek. Nice flat water and the mist coming off the lake. It's just something else. A clear, crystal clear water. Beautiful. Well, we don't really know where to fish on this lake. We just know that we've tried two places and caught fish both places, so. Try the other spots like way at the other end of the lake. I'm always tempted to try a new spot after you haven't caught a fish one time, but it's usually better to wait till you haven't caught a fish two times. So we'll try here again. If it doesn't happen again, we'll have to try somewhere else. This is true love, eh? <laughs> true it's love. It's only, it's 6.30? Yeah. Jesus, late. <laughs> I gotta get up at 5 for fishing before the sun's up. This yeah. is like maybe 20 years, yes. 20 years of true love. <laughs> Not one year, or <laughs> six months. You have to prove yourself still. Like the last time we came out here, what, six years ago? We were here before the sun was up. Well, we came from the other lake and the sun wasn't up yet. This is easy. There's a drop line there. Behind you. Oh, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure I missed a fish. I'm not 100%. With lake trout, it's tough to know if you're missing a fish or, well, pretty much if anything weird happens to your line, it's, it's probably a fish. But we were up pretty shallow by the island. We're just doing a drift now. Same drift from our side of the lake where we're camped to the island. And I think we've had a bite almost every time, but the hookups are tough on lake trout. If you don't get a super aggressive one, they don't always get the whole business, including the hook. You got one? Real, 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 real. Set it again, set it again. There, Courtney's on. <laughs> on camera too. <laughs> go slow, go slow, keep your rod tip up. That's it. Okay, I gotta get in, I gotta get in. Take your time, because we gotta tire it out. I just said I don't care. <laughs> Is that annoying? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't care where your breakfast comes no. from. <laughs> fish is a fish. <laughs> Do you need me to pass you the net? No. Well, if you can. I can turn the handle around. Okay. Keep your rod tip up. 45 degrees, yeah. Take your time. Remember how much I tired it out? And then as you get up near the boat, just keep the tension on it. It should do that for you, but when it fights, let the line, let it take the line. Can you grab, stop reeling, pull the line out a little bit? Okay, I just want to make sure the drag's okay. Do you know how to, wait, stop. Do you know how to loosen the drag? Okay, let's we'll leave it like that then. Nice and slow, no rush. As it gets up to the boat, it's gonna, it's gonna want to take a run again. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, okay, let boy. it go. That's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> let it go again. Holy. Doesn't matter if the rod tip goes in. Don't reel while it's going though. Okay, okay. Reel when it stops. And you want to have... So when you lift your tip up when you can. Keep it up. No, no, don't reel, don't reel. Keep it up. Okay, okay you want to have your rod tip so that you can play with it. So keep it up high. No, not yet. Okay, now. Now, keep your rod up. We gotta know where the, f that's it. That's it. <laughs> Careful. Okay, pull your rod tip up again. I wanna see how much line you have so that you have some play. Keep it down. Keep tension, reel, 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 reel. You gotta keep tension on it. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Bring it close. Up, rod tip up, rod tip up, always up, always up. There we go. You got him. <laughs> it's just a little one, but yeah, it's, no baby. it's a good eater. <laughs> Let it drip out here. Good job. That's a nice eating size one. Holden's gonna be so jealous. He is gonna be jealous. <laughs> yeah, it's a small lake trout, but hey, you caught a fish. Woo. You're not skunked. <laughs> I got him on the trailer. There we go. Nicely done. Thank you. I was literally reeling up. I was, we were reeling up to move, do another drift. This fish came all the way up to grab it. Mm. I thought it was a small one, but it wasn't alive until now. Get 
ready? Get that. Oh, <gasps> lost him. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, it was a little guy, but yeah, it would have been a nice one to add to lunch. Shoot. No. Does it just shoot when it's on camera? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> I got to see him. Got to have the fight. Yeah, that's true. I think uh, I, I felt the whole what well, was it was coming in that kind of felt wonky. So I think the hooks were kind of in it wonky. Or it was just in the trailer. He was just in the trailer and it was just kind of bonking these ones. Scared of it? <laughs> They're slimy. Touch it. No. It's soft. No. Soft like baby. Ew. <laughs> no? No thanks. You, you proud of your food? Sure. <laughs> no. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's it? Well, I don't know. I I don't really get turned on by fishing, but it's okay. Well, I missed my fish. <laughs> Sad. And Courtney caught a nice little eater, a small lake trout, but you know what? You don't want to really be eating the 50 pounders. That's probably three quarters of a pound. That'd be like a big brook trout. So we're gonna call it a good sized eater lake trout. If you eat all the small ones, then you see, spare all the big ones. You can tell it's a lake trout. See that forked tail? A brook trout or a square tail. Sometimes one of the other nicknames, brook trout, speckled trout, um, speck. All those are names for the brook trout. This is a, a lake trout. These are kind of weird coloration, very gray. I think it's a special kind of strain that they have out over here. But it'll eat the same as any other. Yeah, so I missed my bite. I think I missed another bite. I think Courtney missed the bite. It's hard to get the hookups. I gotta figure out how to get better hookups on the lake trout jigging. It is a special thing. It's harder to do, like in a canoe, not very many people. We'll fish for lake trout out of a canoe. There's sleepyhead Magoo reading books. So you're proud of your mommy? What? You mean what? You didn't even ask her? No, she just came. She caught a fish, dude. Did you? No, I'm, I missed my fish. I had a fish at the boat and I missed it. Wait, at, at the boat? Like it was on your line? Yeah, it was at the boat. on the line, reeled it all the way up. I lost it at the boat. I'm gonna unzip so that we can see your face hole. <laughs> you proud of your mommy? Sure. What do you think? Make you want to go fishing? No. No? Not a fisherman. Mama's not a fisherman. Holden's not a fisherman. Maybe we'll find the kind of fish you want to catch. It's like sports. He was not a, not a baseball player, but he sure is a hockey player. Maybe you're a bass fisherman. Rip and lip, more action, more action than in this bo in this tent right now. Reading books. Preteen. <laughs> Wake up, preteen.
So what I'm doing is I'm just scoring all around the whole fish in the size steak that I want, which is about an inch and a half or so. And then instead of going through the bone, what I'm doing is just twisting it and that'll pop off my steak. So I'll end up with one, two, three, four steaks plus the tail. And then the shoulder actually might be able to get one more. Might be able to get a fifth one off here. Just get that bloodline out. And that's ready to go. And all the remains in here actually going back in and feeding all the good stuff that's in the water here. And uh, until we're ready to cook, probably going to keep this fish in the water. I keep the flies off of it, but there's too many flies, but it's a little bit cooler in the water. It's a little bit more protected. And I haven't seen any turtles yet, but it's always a good idea to keep an eye out for turtles. You never know. Oh, there we go, we got the fish on. Put some adobo spices on there. I didn't put on the bacon. It'd be good on the bacon. Maybe we'll put some on the bacon later. If you notice, there's a little, there's a leech actually on the fish. So I guess we're gonna, somebody's gonna get a surprised leech. Try to get it out, but then it caught in the grease and it got all slippery, so. It's interesting, every time we put any of the fish remains in the water, there's a specific kind of leech that will go after uh, just rotting dead materials. It'll uh, it'll just go after the waste. So that's kind of an interesting one. I didn't know about that till I asked Jeremy. And he's like, yeah, some, some won't even latch onto people. They'll just completely ignore anything alive and they just, they just pick up dead stuff. So they're recycling all that debris that's uh, left in the water, kind of cool. I haven't seen any turtles here yet. I think the water's probably too cold, but you never know. One might creep up on shore and grab some of the stuff we've left there for them. That any of the waste goes back in the water, back in the system, and instead of taking it all out. Okay, did you say put toast on him? Yep, put your toast on. How many pieces? Um, one. Gotta tell you guys, this is a real treat to just not have freaking mosquitoes. It's almost the pleasure to do everything. Well, it is a pleasure to do everything, actually. This, this campsite's perfect. The weather's perfect. Courtney's gonna put her, she's gonna have toast. You know how many bagels left? I don't want bagels. No. The company's perfect. <laughs> the company's perfect? Yes. I think you just think the conditions are perfect. They are. It's beautiful. Isn't it? You're wearing shorts camping. Yeah. Seriously. Shorts. No bugs. It's crazy. And warm. Enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Last full day for us. It's kind of sad, eh? 
Wow. Yeah, and we skipped out one day because I was editing a video. Well, I, we could have made it. We could have made it happen, but it would have been very last minute to put all the gear together. So, anyway, we know it's here. Yeah, and right? And it's only like 10 hours to get here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the extra day was to stay. Like, today's going to be a relaxing day. Imagine if you had like two relaxing days, right? Then you get the full experience. We did. Yesterday was relaxing. Well, yeah, but we're still settling in right now. Now it's like... Oh, now we're just like here. Yeah, now we're here. There's not a whole lot to do. Every, all the systems are in place. We know where everything is, you know. And the interesting thing is, is that we've had thunderstorms both days, but just really brief and didn't yeah. damper anything. Light rain. Yeah. Didn't get drenched, didn't change our plans. Mm. It's been good. Can't really complain. Can't complain at all. We caught Not fish both days. Oh, it's tasty. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I actually do. I thought I would miss the smokiness, but because I put a lot of olive oil in there. You do? A lot of oil. Yeah, it's basically deep fried fish. See, this way you take it out. <clears throat> okay. Well, I didn't see how you did it. I just, you showed it to me after it was out. See, this is how you do it. <laughs> well, you can take the whole backbone out. And then there should be nothing left. So which fish did you prefer? Today's. Really? Yep. You you like just deep fried it? Like fried in oil, steaked? <clears throat> I guess so. Rather than smoked? Well, and also yesterday there's like the little bit of apprehension because maybe it wasn't fully cooked. <laughs> so, yeah. But, so I enjoyed today's more, but that could be part of the reason why. Mm. And Holden actually preferred the smoked fish. Right. And you do as well? Yep. Just smoked all the way. But today was fine. Right. Like I could eat today's. It was just the texture was not as good as the smoked. Like it dried out more than slimy mashy. Right. Yeah. Which slimy made me feel like it wasn't cooked. You want to come in? Sure. Want a family hug? Hold on. I have greasy fingers still. How is this going to work? <laughs> 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 he likes family hugs, but he doesn't like family kisses anymore. <laughs> he won't let me kiss his cheek anymore. But he still likes the family hugs. Which fish did you like? Um, the one yesterday. Smoked. Okay. Yeah, smoked fish. Today was fried. Uh, I don't like that. No. So you like fish. You just said you liked fish. Not really. <laughs> I like that one better. I, I didn't say I liked it. All right, we're going to throw the egg in. You never had egg, did you, Courtney? No. I don't, I don't want it. I got to try it. It tastes no. like, well, you I'm, like, ten I'm not going to. No. <laughs> okay, bargain 10 bucks. 10 bucks. <sighs> 20 bucks to eat fish parts. So we're just gonna throw that in the leftover oil that we have from the fish. A couple of spare eggs. And what we wanna do is like lightly cook this. We don't want to, uh, we don't wanna get it r wicked hot because it actually doesn't really behave like a chicken egg. It just wants to pop and fizzle and go everywhere. Give her a little bit of a taste test first. That's the best fish eggs I've ever had in my whole life. Of course, it's deep fried in oil. I cooked it so good in the oil that it didn't actually pop so bad. Those are good. Slight, slight taste of fishiness, but of course it was all cooked in the fish skins and leftover oil. And of course there's a little bit of the adobo in there, but that's, that's really good. Just to say it tastes really fatty. Do you have some? Yep. Mmm, delicious. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. You actually like it? Yeah, I'm I'm still kind of grossed out by the idea. So I don't know how much I can eat. 
Well, if you were hungry, you'd probably eat the whole thing. Well, yeah. It is. It's good. It's good. It's actually good. Does it have wood on it? Well, it's whatever is in the pan. I didn't add any extra. Oh. Huh. They're going to be salty yeah. on their own. Oh, yeah? A little bit. They kind of like burst when you chew them. Yeah. It's, there's nothing wrong with them though. No. Like there's no reason you would throw that out instead of eating the whole thing. Yeah. It's caviar. It's right? just not raw. Ew. You eat caviar raw? I think so. Ugh. Mom says it's good. And she's not lying. I had it and it's good. You can try some? <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Come on. Uh, 50. No, no. She's giving you 50 bucks. <laughs> Mom's going to eat them all for free. Unbiased opinion. I didn't have to pay for that opinion. But they're they're good. There's nothing wrong with them. I don't know why people don't eat more of them. How are you going to get down there? Have you got down there before? No. Eesh. Careful, dude. Quartz deposit? Yep. You got to figure out how to get it off there. Maybe if you Maybe if you bring a big rock over here and drop it off the top, maybe you'll smash some off of it. Do you want to keep some of it? Well, like I already have a lot, but quartz is worth a lot. Like this would, this, like two or three thousand dollars actually. Really? So yeah. I can pay my debts off to you? <laughs> yep, nope, that's not working. Oh, oh dude. Keep that rock. Oh my! You got a big piece? Huge piece. Oh, that works. <clears throat> you, don't, you don't need to do it anymore because we can't carry it back anymore. You can yeah. carry it back. What, how, much, how much is this piece worth? Um, like 25 bucks. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, we brought one piece off. Small piece was small piece, but it was a piece. Well, that one did it. We got one piece, one more piece off. I was gonna go down and try to find it. There's some. Um, um, is it sharp? Uh, yep. Don't touch the edges. Yeah, it is sharp. Yeah, I think that was it. I don't know. There might have been another bigger piece. I thought there was a bigger. piece. Look at all this. Nice. Real life Minecraft. <laughs> you happy with that? Yeah. Better than the fish? Yeah. <laughs> it's like magic. Now we're on the beach. Mm. Here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to swim. I don't know, I hate swimming. Well, I don't hate swimming, I just hate cold. I like swimming in the Dominican. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, Northern Ontario cold. Oh, hi, hi. Hi. That was a good swim. It was uh, not as cold as I thought, but I did get cold after. What are you doing? What you doing? Uh, cleaning off all the quartz that I found. Cleaning them, dry them. Yep. You don't know them, do you? Well, everybody had a nap, and I didn't film having naps because that was not going to be any fun for anybody to watch. So we're all back in the boat almost. Yeah. Olin's making his way precar precariously. Gonna get in there. Are you fishing today, Olin? Yeah. I'm gonna fish for a bit till you get tired. He's got some snacks if he gets bored. And I've been having fairly decent luck every time we've been out. I don't think we caught any on the evening bite yet, so we'll see. How you feel, Oli? Confident? No. No? <laughs> You're not confident. You should have come out this morning. Yep. Not getting a fish, you getting a bite? I'm not getting a fish. 
I got a bite already, you missed them. But we're right in the right spot right here now. So another fish is coming. Imminent. My hook success rate's not good, hold on. I know. Oh. However much you hook them, you yeah. get one. Yeah, I'm not getting on the aggressive enough fish for my hook set. I'm just missing them. Just missing them. Courtney's eating snacks up front. Huh? What? Are you eating snacks? We're uh, on the other end of the lake here in our spot that we came to a few years ago, but it's freaking windy over here and it keeps pushing us out of the good spot real fast. Just like that, we get blown out of the good spot. Fish! Oh, I missed him! Shoot, again! Dang it! <sighs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> ah, I knew I was in the right spot too. Dang it! These lake trout are so hard to hook up with. You watch it for rocks. Got the canoe up here. Let it dry out for the big paddle out tomorrow. We uh, got skunked, all of us. I think I missed three, three fish, three bites. Now they're not super aggressive right now. Um, gotta do a bit more research on jigging, jigging for lake trout in a canoe to get better hook sets. I thought the trouble would help, and I. Just, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. It's just, you go so long between bites. We're looking to lighten our load up a little bit. We have some extra foods. We have still have a whole pack of hot dogs, which probably end up bringing home. But uh, get rid of the hamburgers because they won't make, they won't survive the trip back. So we, uh, before we went fishing, we actually collected a whole bunch of firewood. So it's all ready to go. And looks like Courtney's pretty hungry because she already got the hamburgers out. We got a couple hamburgers and our condiments. And some leftover bacon so we can have some bacon burgers. Although I don't really have any buns. So I'm going to have uh, the canned potatoes so we can lighten that up. So I'll just do canned white potatoes for my starch. And we've got some snap peas to go along with it. Whew. I actually called it, I called it good for the fishing because I'm super tired. It's a lot of work to paddle, man. I wonder why people bring motor boats and tin boats and all these things. It takes a lot out of you to paddle that boat and try to keep it right in the wind where you want to be, where you know the fish are. I managed to do it a couple times, just not consistently. Conditions got to be right. But uh, Jeremy and I are talking to my uncle. I mentioned it before. And you can actually fly us into lakes where there's no access. Like here, there's boats on both sides. There's a couple of people came in to visit the lake while we were here. Uh, there's a group actually came in, I think probably for the long weekend right now. But my uncle can get us, fly us into lakes that don't have any road access at all. And uh, that's next on, on the list of things to do. Because I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to be able to get out there that far in the wilderness to be able to do these things like basically like my grandfather used to do. He would he would uh he would be exploring these places. Yeah, you know, it's not super fancy. Ran out of buns. So I'm eating bunless hamburger. Bread burger. Wait, why are there two hamburgers? And some potatoes. Oh my gosh. Canned potatoes. Uh, oh, hot. Ah. <laughs>
Too hot. What are you waiting for? Take him. Kind of hard to eat over here beside Lefty. Hey, mm. okay. thanks. <laughs> here, the biggest concern is mice. I actually had a mouse last night crawl up and over my tent in the meshing, and they're they're known to do that. So, by putting it up on the log, it actually makes it hard for a mouse to climb up and then do a lot of damage to either the containers because it has to sit there perched on the side and start chewing it over and it's not of course not big enough to knock it over it could try to climb up but they're not good at scaling these types of material anyway you know it's a big challenge for them so they're not going to go through that effort but if you leave it on the ground yeah they're going to sit there and chew it and they're going to get through it and then you're going to have mice and mice droppings all on your stuff beautiful out here and I'm glad we've had the peace and quiet we've had thus far it's been good it's been a good trip so tomorrow we pack out oh well, good morning everybody good morning Courtney mm -hmm. yep. yeah what you doing filling up the water for the trip back filling up the water for the trip back so get uh, three bottles full it's a nice clear morning and super calm still i don't think we can convince them to go for another fish i'm not sure if i want to go for another fish i kind of have a good sense of what this lake has to offer as far as fishing goes might change a little bit if you bring like actual fishers and spend some more time but it's clear as glass and it'll make a nice paddle back although if everything goes as it has been going, we'll have a tailwind rather than be fighting the wind all the way. Headwinds really stink, especially with a loaded canoe. That's not why we're headed out so early. It's because we have other engagements. So that's what we'll be doing. We need to get out by noon, hopefully. So most of the stuff's already packed and ready for the canoe that's it we'll leave this campsite perfectly clean no garbage no nothing so everything's going to get packed out you can see all the i put my tent away it didn't take me too too long but uh really beautiful have a look at this side of the lake where it's super calm but uh it's a nice nice campsite i don't know about the fishing be interesting to try maybe in the late fall when the fish are biting and they're nice and shallow it's a lot easier to catch lake trout at that time but look at it beautiful what do you think of the trip uh it was fun yeah we'll try one more fish right holdy see if we can't catch one portage at home Pretty calm. One more cast. One more cast. One more cast. All day long. You never know. Could be. Could be any time. Could be any jig. Could be right now. It's the lure of the fisher. It's like gambling, Holden. The next hand, it's gonna be the big winner. Oh except, except, it's a good positive form of gambling. Because you're getting healthy foods and it'll make you smart. And there's slightly skill involved. Yeah, there's slightly skill involved. No, it's all skill. Well, a little bit of luck, but mostly it's skill. The skill I'm putting into it is going to get, we're going to get serious about this fishing business so that we're on lakes that have fish in them, not yahoos, partiers, and 10,000 boats. This is. No, I need more fish. More. It's not enough. Oh. Uh, my line just got twisted up. Not a fish. False alarm. See, that's how good I am at the fishing. I know when the line just gets slightly messed up, Holdy. It's a touch. It's just a feel. It just 
there. Not quite right. One more jig. <gasps> One more jig. Hunting's the same way, holding. One more. Really? Right. One more minute, but also when you hunt, it's like it gets dark, so you have to go home. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stay out all night. Well, you could, you're just not allowed to hunt all night. But hunting's the same kind of deal because you got to go out one more time. Just one more time. And you know that your odds of getting something right now is the same as your odds of getting something the first time you cast? It restarts every time. But if you go something like Listen, listen to the math here. So if you say at the start of the season or hunting season or fishing time, you say, I'm going to go out a hundred times, then your chances of being successful is really high. But if you go out a hundred times and then you go out one more, your chances of being successful on that hundred and first time is very low, <laughs> right? Because you've already failed a hundred times and those don't count towards being successful. But if you said, I'm going to go out for a hundred more, your chances would be really, really high because you'd still have a hundred chances left. Oh my God. Right? So, so the math is you got to say from the start, I'm going to put out a hundred percent effort at the start, or I'm never going to stop until I catch a fish, in which case it's a hundred percent chance you're eventually going to catch a fish. That's the math. Right? But if you screw up a hundred times, if you go out the next time, your chances of being successful are just as bad as every other time you went out. In fact, one might argue it's worse because now you have a known probability, which is, you know, one in 101, if you're successful on the 100 first time. So it's all math, man. That's what success is all about. That's not just fishing success, that's life success. But I think that's a one more cast because they're getting too shallow and my things fouled up again. So I'm going to, we're going to portage out of here. I'm going to catch you guys on the next adventure. Hope you appreciated it. Use the code Beardsman uh, down below in the mystery tackle box. You get yourself some jigs. They worked here. Final thoughts on the trip? It was a great trip. I loved it. I loved having a whole lake to ourselves, which you usually manage to find. Usually. Usually. But they're usually not as nice as this one. Or at least the spot isn't as nice. Campsite was 1010. Yeah. Beach. Beautiful. Weather. Amazing. Bugs. Good. Perfect. No. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I have quite a few bites, but you're, you're but wearing shorts. I'm susceptible. Yeah, shorts and a, camping. And a is short sleeve shirt. Awesome with a back wool. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, you don't get that very often because <laughs> it's usually too cold for the bugs. And too cold for you or too buggy for shorts yeah yeah so anyway it's a good trip need yeah. more more fish though uh whatever you don't was, two was good you don't care yeah two we had enough to eat put yeah. it that way and we lost one and i missed maybe four five we yeah missed a couple very good so i'm gonna figure out a better jig jig i think for the lake trip that'll be the next thing all right Kidok. Catch you on the next one.